Good morning, dear students. We are studying circulatory system and excretory system. Let us solve some riddles. My beat can be heard inside the chest. Who am I? Very rightly, you guessed the heart. I am red in color and flow throughout the body. What am I? Yes, it is blood. I am used by the doctors to listen the heartbeat. What am I? Yes, it is a device called stethoscope. So now, let us recap the circulatory system. The system that transports oxygen, nutrients and water throughout the body is called the circulatory system. The heart, blood and blood vessels are parts of the circulatory system in the body. Let us study the heart. The heart is a muscular organ it is like a pumping machine. It contracts and relaxes continuously to pump blood to all parts of the body. The heart lies towards the left hand side, slightly towards the left side of the chest. It is about the size of our clenched fist. Blood. Blood is red fluid that flows in the blood vessels. Blood carries oxygen to all parts of the body and collects carbon dioxide and other wastes from the body. It also carries nutrients and other substances. Blood vessels. There are three kinds of blood vessels. Arteries. Arteries carry blood from the heart to the rest of the body. Veins carry blood from different parts of the body to the heart. Capillaries, these are the branches of arteries and veins. They form very fine tubes called capillaries. Capillaries are the smallest, thinnest of blood vessels. All exchange of gases, nutrients and wastes between the blood and tissues take place through the capillaries. How blood flows in the body? Now let us see this blue color you can see this is the veins veins bringing the blood which is rich in carbon dioxide to the heart from heart it is sent to the lungs lungs take in the carbon dioxide and load the blood with oxygen this oxygenated or oxygen rich blood goes back to lung heart from lungs heart pump that oxygen rich blood to different parts of the body and the body the blood goes through the throughout the body it travels the digestive system also and it collects the food and distribute to entire body parts and in returning this blood rich in carbon dioxide brings that blood rich in carbon dioxide to heart again and likewise the cycle goes on Body to heart, heart to lungs, lungs to heart, heart to body, body to heart, the cycle goes on. Try to understand this. Body brings carbon dioxide rich blood to the heart. Heart sends that blood to the lungs. Lungs purify that blood means takes the carbon dioxide and load the blood with oxygen and send back to heart. Now heart pumps that oxygen rich blood to the body parts. Body parts after utilizing that oxygen rich blood brings back the carbon dioxide rich blood to the body and likewise to the heart and likewise the cycle goes on. In our blood vessels blood flows only in one direction. It cannot flow back because of valves present in them. Heartbeat and pulse. This is the heartbeat which can be seen in a monitor. The sound of contraction and relaxation of the heart muscle is called the heartbeat. This is the way we can find out our pulse. The rhythmic wavy movement of blood in the blood vessels is called a pulse. This is all about the circulatory system. Children, please read the chapter thoroughly. Learn the question answer and get ready for your upcoming exams. Thank you children.